We're joined now at the Lahoma Field Day by Dr. Miriam Awoon, our extension wheat pathologist. And, and Miriam, give us an idea of some of the updates that you've been talking about at the field day. Yeah, I, I was gi giving growers updates on, on the diseases that we saw this season. Um, so um, basically, uh, because of the drought, things were a bit late in terms of uh, fungal diseases. Uh, but um, I would say from early May, we start seeing uh, viral diseases, mainly barley yellow dwarf virus, uh, that is a virus transmitted by cereal aphids, and also a uh, wheat streak mosaic virus that is transmitted by wheat corn mite. Uh, Oklahoma is, uh, is known uh, to be a hotspot for barley yellow dwarf virus, uh, but I was surprised to see uh, many of the samples that were tested positive this year for wheat streak mosaic virus. So, um, that's something um, that was common in previous year in the Panhandle area, but not in other um, areas in, in, in Oklahoma. Um, I also saw um, uh, late in April and early May uh, root rots, uh, and those are uh, diseases that are known to be uh, favored by drought conditions. Uh, so even the, the, like the plants were stressed throughout the, the growing season, but those damage, they, they are more uh, obvious later in the season. Uh, so when you go in, in the field and, uh, and uh, see white heads, and, and, and sometimes it's not only the head, the whole plant can be uh, white and stunted. And those are uh, typical symptoms of root rot if, 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 um, if you are in an area where uh, drought is, is common. Another uh, thing that I saw after the rain uh, early this May uh, were rust diseases. So in terms of where we are in the growing season um, at this stage where the wheat's getting more mature by the day, are there some treatment options or some things that producers can, can consider? Uh, for, um, I would say, I would start with viral diseases. We can do much um, this year, but in, in coming uh, years, uh, we, we should um, choose resistant varieties. Uh, Encharted is a good option for barley yellow dwarf virus. That's an OSU variety. It has two resistant genes for barley yellow dwarf. And uh, Breakthrough is a, another uh, variety that has resistance to wheat streak mosaic virus. Uh, for uh, rust, I think now uh, we are late in the season, so I don't expect that we will have really a great impact on the yield. Uh, because, and also we don't have options uh, to, for fungicide to treat now. We are, uh, uh, our uh, f f uh, wheat fields, they already pass flowering. So I, I don't see the, um, right now the need because they, I didn't see rust uh, uh, other than uh, in still water, I didn't see rust in other fields. So the disease pressure is still low. And uh, we also our uh, wheat fields, they pass the, the flowering stage. So we, we cannot um, really have much options for fungicide. And then you rely on producers sending you samples from around the state. So you can kind of have a picture of, of what everybody's dealing with. Talk about the process for them sending you samples and, and how they can get involved in that and, and how that works. Yeah, so uh, it is really important to know uh, the races we have in, in, in our region and that will help us to determine the resistant genes that we need to deploy in our varieties. Uh, so they, they can take a sample uh, uh, and put it in, in an envelope and uh, keep it like the leaf to be um, expanded as much as possible and uh, let it dry for one or two days and then ship it to our um, uh, to my lab at the NRC building. It is 127 uh, uh, Noble Research Center at the Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology at Oklahoma State University. Okay, fantastic. Well, great information. Thank you very much for the update and we'll see you again soon.